Let me tell you a bit about the course. Uh, we will cover four major topics. We'll start, appropriately so, with leadership, your own leadership. Uh, so how do you define it? How do you think about it? How do others? We've been working on this topic for a number of years, have built up a model that we will present, the MIT model of leadership. It's called the four cap, which is uh, shortened for four capabilities. Uh, and through this course, we hope that you will broaden your view of leadership, begin to think about your own way of uh, leading. Nobody's way of leading is the same. We're all a bit different. We all have different strengths and weaknesses. And we'll try to take a very close look at that in which you will do an organizational diagnosis as well as an individual diagnosis about how leadership occurs as a process. Four caps are sense-making, visioning, relating, and inventing. Uh, and I will, of course, say much more about each of these capabilities in that portion of the course. The hope is that you will walk away from that portion of the course with more insight into your leadership strengths and weaknesses, and maybe just a little bit more competent, able to lead change in your own organizations. We'll move from leadership into a segment that we've labeled three perspectives on organizations. It's really a sense-making device as well as, uh, I hope, a problem-solving device. It's a way of thinking about organizational problems from three different perspectives, a way to diagnose those problems. The three perspectives, in a nutshell, are strategic, political, and cultural. And I will argue that while we will treat them as independent, they really come together, they're integrated. The hope of this segment of the course is that you walk away with a greater ability to diagnose what are the sources of organizational problems you face, both large and small, and some idea of what sort of solutions might work uh, to solve those problems, uh, or at least diminish them. That's the second part of the course. The third part of the course is a deep dive into what we will call the red lens, the political perspective on organizations. And the hope here is that we can increase your political sensitivity, your social sensitivity to the interactional world or the peopled world around you. The name of this segment is Networks and Power. Uh, and power is simply the ability to get things done. Uh, and to understand the use of power, you have to understand your own position, your own networks, as well as the landscape that surrounds you. So that segment will look very closely through a variety of examples uh, at different networks and how they operate. The hope is that you will come out of this segment uh, with a greater political sensitivity, greater ability to operate in a world in which interests differ, in a world in which people see problems differently and solutions differently, and you'll be able to operate more effectively uh, in that particular world, your world. We bring this all together in the fourth segment, which is something of a capstone. Uh, we will do a wonderful organizational simulation where you're asked to bring a change to an organization that didn't ask for it. One of the hardest, if not the hardest, task of management and leadership, change. Here we ask you to put the three perspectives together with networks and power and think about how your leadership is unfolding in this simulation as a way of getting the organization to move to a place that will be better for it uh, but not a place that they selected on their own. So you will be a change agent uh, and have to work with a variety of different tactics to bring this change about. That's the course. And we also hope you'll have a good deal of fun. This is an interactive course. Uh, we ask that you will do a number of things individually as well as with groups and others. Um, but at the end of the day, we hope you learn a great deal about leading and managing change.